Welcome to a short video about the genetic disease Hunter syndrome. This inherited condition affects approximately 1 in 162,000 live births, almost exclusively males. Hunter syndrome, also known as mucopolysaccharidosis 2 or MPS2, is a chronic, progressive metabolic disease. Inside the cells of the body, excess substances called GAGs build up in special compartments called lysosomes. The enzyme that is needed to break down GAGs is missing or defective. As Hunter syndrome progresses over time, excess gag storage leads to medical problems in many body systems. Inside of a healthy cell, special compartments called lysosomes contain enzymes. These enzymes help to break down or metabolize various substances, including gags. In people with Hunter syndrome, however, due to a genetic defect, an enzyme called I2S is missing or defective. With little or no I2S enzyme to break them down, the gags are able to build up in the lysosome. Excess gags in the lysosomes lead to progressive damage and dysfunction in cells, tissues, and organs throughout the body. This results in a wide variety of signs and symptoms of Hunter syndrome. Signs of disease are not usually apparent prenatally or at birth. A newborn infant who has Hunter syndrome may look normal in the first months and years of life and achieve early developmental milestones. However, by two to four years of age, physical signs and symptoms begin to emerge and in some cases, cognitive impairment may develop. Noticing Hunter syndrome early on can be challenging because some initial signs and symptoms, such as a chronic runny nose, ear infections and hernias, are also commonly seen in healthy children. This can lead to delays in diagnosis. The earliest visible signs of Hunter syndrome may be unusual facial features, an enlarged abdomen, and an enlarged tongue and tonsils. Notable facial features are a broad nose with flared nostrils, a prominent brow, thick lips and large jowls, and a large head. The abdomen appears swollen or distended due to an enlarged liver and spleen. These organs do maintain their normal functioning, however, even if they become very large from gag storage. Hernias are commonly seen. Umbilical hernias, which cause a bulge near the navel, are the most common type. Inguinal hernias in the groin are also sometimes seen. In the respiratory tract, airway obstruction is a common symptom. The windpipe, or trachea, may be narrow or abnormally shaped, and the tongue, tonsils, and adenoids may be enlarged. Upper respiratory infections, pneumonia, and thick nasal secretions are common. Most patients experience recurrent ear infections. A distinguishing sign of Hunter syndrome is progressive skeletal changes. The joints become stiffer, and limited range of motion is common. This limited range is due to persistent tightening of soft tissues such as tendons or ligaments. Over time, stiff joints can greatly limit mobility and motor skills and worsen daily quality of life. Hunter syndrome has a range of severity. In the severe form of the disease, patients may have neurological problems that progress to severe mental impairment. Behavioral problems, cognitive problems, and hyperactivity are common. Patients with the less severe or attenuated form of Hunter syndrome generally have normal intelligence and no mental impairment. However, they will experience the other signs and symptoms throughout the body. As childhood progresses, additional signs and symptoms may emerge. Most people with Hunter syndrome do not reach the same average height as unaffected peers. Spine conditions called scoliosis and kyphosis are commonly seen. Scoliosis is side-to-side -side curvature of the spine, and kyphosis is a hunchback appearance of the upper back. Spinal cord compression may occur because of narrowing of the spinal canal and instability of the joint where the spine meets the skull. Skeletal problems contribute to difficulty with walking and fine motor skills. 
Individuals may walk on their toes because of joint stiffness and tightness of the Achilles tendon or heel cord. Gradual loss of hand function may result from carpal tunnel syndrome, which compresses the main nerve to the hand. Progressive stiffness of joints and joint contractures in the hands, including curvature of the fingers, may also limit hand function. Heart problems may occur in childhood, with valvular disease being one of the most prevalent cardiac conditions. Signs and symptoms that first appeared earlier in life often continue to progress into adolescence, while others may emerge for the first time. Mild hearing loss may begin early in the course of the disease, but moderate to severe hearing loss may develop in patients who survive into adulthood. In the severe form of Hunter syndrome, death usually occurs in the teen years, commonly due to respiratory disease, neurologic problems, or heart conditions. Patients with the less severe or attenuated form of Hunter syndrome typically survive into adulthood. In summary, Hunter syndrome is a multi-system disorder. The progressive symptoms profoundly affect patient quality of life, from skeletal problems that limit walking and joint flexibility, to respiratory conditions that affect normal breathing, to physical changes that affect appearance and growth rates.